What up, big time gang? Number 19, bro. 19. Or ladies. Um, this is a Brito bolt. Super different. Very colorful. This is um, number 19 out of JD's collection. This is model number 35278. Um, this is a limited edition as well. A lot of detail on this watch. A lot of stuff going on. It'll be hard for you to see right now through this view. But when we flip you over to the side of the table, you'll be able to see it better. But um, super dope. Another big chunky watch. This is a 52 millimeter, but it's it's big. It feels heavy. It feels um, every part of that 52 millimeter for sure. And the dial. It's just so dope, man. So uh, I'm just going to switch you guys over to the other side of the table so that you can get a good look at this watch and we can talk more about it. Stay tuned after the intro. The Brito, the Brito, not really sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but uh, this one is dope. Look at that dial. So, I'm not sure if you can tell that how it's layered, but it's multiple layers, which makes it super, super intricate. Let's see if I can get that to show the layers. It's so hard to get stuff to show on camera that I can see with my own eye. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Really thick raised crystal. You see that? This is a bolt. It's got that yellow cabling. But then you've got this colored carbon weave. You've got like a teal and then a yellow and then a reddish orange or red going around and you got red carbon on the uh, two top links on either side. Then it's finished in a matte black plating. Really bold, big numerals for the uh, markers. So you've got six markers. So you've got six markers for the uh, the uh, complete bezel here. But I mean, look how big those numbers are. You can read that from a mile away. Now the dial is so dizzy that, busy that the hands kind of get lost, but the hands are nice and white. So uh, they kind of stand out. Looks like you got Swiss cheese over here in the corner. But just a dope looking design overall. I mean, really intricate. Um, the watch itself is pretty simple as far as case and bracelet you know nothing too crazy besides these two big uh um things on the on the uh links there on top lug connection is very 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 tight which would be hard to put like an aftermarket strap or something on it non-screw down crown this is not a reserve watch this is a pc 21 AF quartz Japanese movement. So not a fancy movement. I like the sugar skull design in there. Um, that's the thing with Mexican heritage. You know, the sugar skull is a big thing. And I really like the way that looks. This is, you know, definitely different than a regular sugar skull, but, you know, very similar at the same time. This is model number 35278, and this is a limited edition. So this is a limited edition number 197 out of 1,000. We'll show you the case back. You got the signature back there, and you see that limited edition 197 out of 1,000. You've got Tritonite, Flame Fusion Crystal, All Stainless Steel, Japanese Movement, 100 meter water resistance, and then the model number 35278. 
Now, since we know we have tritonite, let's get that glow going. All right, so let's get this thing to glow. Kill the lights. And there she is. Nothing too impressive, but not bad. So all the hour markers glow. The second hand, you can see the, the tip of it glowing. And the hour and minute hand glow as well. You can see it's already fading though. But it's good. It looks good. Not too bad. You know, Tritonite's not amazing. But uh, it's not horrible either. Get these lights back on. So let me know what you guys think of the watch in the comments. Like I said, this is uh, number 19 out of JD's collection. Um, super thankful to JD for giving us opportunity to see his watches and for me to uh, be able to hold on to him like this. Um, JD is a truck driver, if I haven't said that already, and he's on the road a lot. And so what he does is when he comes out here to Phoenix, he hits me up. And this is the second time he's dropped me off watches. And I'm very humbled and appreciative just to be able to feature his watches. It's a, a honor, you know, to uh, be entrusted with thousands of dollars of somebody else's pieces. Um, the first time, you know, um, had to be a little scary for him. Now this time he's a lot more comfortable and uh, he's given me more time to actually shoot these videos, which I'm grateful for. But um, the next episode you see will be 20 and then uh, that'll be a wrap. So um, I'm hoping you're enjoying the videos. Um, stay safe, stay tuned for photos, and as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.